Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2018 Ford F-150, we're gonna be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with the seven-way connector. So you'd wanna use this seven-way for a couple of different reasons. One, your trailer that you plan on towing has this style of connector, or you plan on towing a trailer that has a brake controller. So this is gonna give you the capability to do both. Since it just taps into our factory wiring, more or less just plugs right in, that factory wiring is already going to be pre-ran and allow this to put out that electric brake signal as well as that auxiliary power signal. That way you're able to charge up any batteries that you might have on your trailer while you're towing it down the road, such as a small pop-up camper or maybe a utility trailer that has a dump bed. So this harness is going to eliminate the need to piece together a whole entire kit and run a bunch of wiring like you normally would have to do. So with this, it's just going to utilize that factory wiring in your truck and make life a lot more simple. Now something I do want to mention is that the kit does not come included with the bracket. and We have many different types available here at eTrailer. However, I really like this one because not only we can mount up our seven way, but we're actually able to also mount up our factory four pole. That way they're next to each other and really easy to get to. Now the connector here itself is gonna be nice and heavy duty. Whenever we open it up on the underside, there's gonna be a rubber seal and that's going to help keep out moisture and dirt and debris whenever we're not using it. Now with that being said, I like to go a step further and every now and again, cover the terminals with some dielectric grease. And also on the bottom of the cap, there's going to be a clip here. That way, whenever you plug your trailer connector in, this clip is going to kind of ride down on it and prevent your harness from accidentally getting pulled out. So if you're just needing to pull a trailer that has a seven way plug, this is all you're gonna need. But if you're pulling one that has brakes and you're gonna want them to work, you are gonna need to pick up a couple more things to complete the package. You're not only going to need this, but you're also going to need an adapter plug for a brake controller that simply plugs into a factory connector under the dash, and you're going to need the brake controller itself. But other than that, it's going to give you the capability to hook up to trailers that have a seven-way connector. And in my opinion, it's definitely the way to go since it just utilizes that factory wiring that's already ran back here. And because it utilizes that to get this installed, it's going to be really straightforward. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and hook it up together now. To begin our install, we're gonna be working underneath the back of our truck. And we're gonna to need to locate the factory harness that should be here on the driver's side. So the connector that we're looking for is right here. It's just sitting on top of this support beam. We're gonna disconnect it. The way to do that, it's a little tricky to see, so you'll have to kind of go off feel. But on this side, there's a tab in the center. And if you push down on it, you're able to pull the two connectors apart. So that's that little tab I was talking about. When you push down on it, that's gonna allow you to pull them apart from each other. Now we can grab our new T-connector wiring and get it plugged in. What I like to do is use some dielectric grease in here just to help prevent any potential corrosion. If you need some of this dielectric grease, you can find it here at each trailer. I'll coat both sides. From there, it's really straightforward. One plug is going to get connected to one side of the factory wiring. And the other side will plug into the other end. Now we can take our white wire with the pre-attached ring terminal and ground that to the body of our vehicle. There's a pretty solid piece of metal right here, easy to get to, so I'm just going to use that. And I'm going to secure it using the included self-tapping screw. Now we can take the other end of our wiring and run it to where we're going to mount it. The kit doesn't come included with a bracket, so if you wanna do it like this, you're gonna to have to pick it up. And I just slightly modified it where our factory four pole wiring 
was right up in here in this area. I just attached a bracket to it and had to kind of file this opening out a little bit larger. Our factory four-way will slip right into it. We can take our new wiring end, slide that through. Again, we'll use some dielectric grease for the terminals. We can take our seven-way plug and connect it. From there, we're able to put that into our bracket and get it secured. So I went ahead and secured up our wiring to help clean up our install look, just using a handful of zip ties that come included with the kit. Now that we have everything hooked up, it's a good idea to test all of our functions to make sure it's working properly. Try our left turn, our right turn, our tail lights, our brake lights, our reverse lights, and our 12 volt power output. Now with these trucks, the 12 volt power output, the brakes have to be applied and you have to be hooked into either a tester box like this or one of your trailers. We'll get our 12 volts. And if you were to install a brake controller, you would test the brake output signal as well. Now just something I'd like to point out, if you're having any issues or not getting any of your signals at the back of your seven way, what I have encountered in the past is that sometimes, depending on what truck you have, the trailer wiring fuses here underneath the hood in the fuse box could actually be missing. So it's definitely something to check if you're having any issues. Just get in your owner's manual and read through it and make sure that all the fuses are not only good, but actually in the fuse block itself. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness on our 2018 Ford F-150.